Hi there. In this lecture, we're going to leverage Microsoft Excel to convert a string of delimited data into meaningful table. This process is useful to present visually appealing data to your management or to develop charts from the data. Also, you can leverage the organized table to develop pivot tables. So let's get into it. On screen, I have strings of data that are outputs of our project and program management tool that our PMO leverages. If you notice, each data element is separated by a semicolon, which is referred to as a delimiter. A delimiter is a character that separates the data elements, and this can take the form of a comma, semicolon, or even a space. So what I have here is the output from that uh, PPM system. And we have here as our first string of values, here's our name. This is the position of the person. This is the month in which we are taking a look at the hourly allocations for this person. And here, this 160 and the 80, these are the monthly hourly allocations for that particular resource. And here, finally, at the last uh, parameter here, this is the hourly rate that this employee is earning per hour. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to select uh, this particular set of data. And I'm going to go into the data menu here. And I'm going to go to text to columns that's here in the data tools area. I'm going to click on this. And what I'm going to do is that since the data is already delimited with the semicolon, I'm going to select the delimited option here in the first step of this wizard. So I'm just going to go to next. And I'm going to select the type of delimiter. In this case, it's going to be a semicolon. I'm going to unselect tab. And if you notice here in the preview, it since the semicolon separates the data elements, you can already see how the table is going to look like. And you just want to double check here to make sure that the table, the table is going to appear in the format that you want it. So right now, it's definitely looking that way. So I'm satisfied with this. I'm going to do next. And here in this particular screen, what you can do is that you can define the type um, for each column. So for example, if you just want to define the column as a text, you would select the column and select text. If the column had a date as one of its fields, you can select that here. And you have all these other options here. So that determines the format of that particular column. So I'm satisfied with the way that it is currently. And I'm going to just do finish to show you what this does. And here you have it. Um, to make sure that there's enough space to show the data, I just double click on the column separator here. And if you double click again, so here you have my data. You have the person, the position they're in, the month of their allocation, uh, the actual hourly allocation, as well as the number of hours. Now, if I wanted to, I could insert a column here and kind of, uh, you know, spell this out a little bit better. I can put um, the name, position, uh, this is the month. This, these are the hours of allocation. And this is the rate. Okay, so I have this here. And another thing that you can do here if and this is especially true, if you're going to be using pivot tables, because uh, pivot tables leverage tables in Excel, and the way you can convert this uh, into a table is that you can use the control T function. So what you can do is just select the range and use control T and just confirm that it's the data range that you want. Now, my table has headers is selected because that's the situation that I have here. Um, I just inserted the headers here to identify these particular data elements. So if I click OK, 
now I have my table here. And like I said, this is a great starting point. Like if you want to leverage pivot tables, like if this table was really long or you had various data elements, it would be great uh, to leverage this to do a pivot table uh, so you can do your analysis. And there you have it. This is all it takes to take a string of data and then convert it into a particular table. If you like this video, please see my course, Microsoft Excel for Project Managers. This is a course specifically designed for project managers on how to create helpful articles, uh, artifacts, and templates to make their job easier as project managers. Please see the link in the description. Thanks for watching.